In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five problems on this eighth generation Honda Accord. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle, there's nothing wrong with buying one or owning one. These are the top five problems that we have found. Every vehicle has their problems. Number one, the alternator. Now the alternator is located right here at the front of the motor. It's attached to the drive belt. Now the alternator's job is to maintain the charge of the battery. Some of the symptoms you may notice while you're driving the vehicle, the vehicle could all of a sudden stall. Hopefully the battery light comes on on the dash first so that it gives you a little bit of warning. But if it stalls and then the vehicle won't start, the battery is dead. Most likely the alternator wasn't charging the battery and that's what killed the battery. So if that's the case, you're going to need to charge the battery and you may need to replace the battery before you change the alternator. To replace the alternator, you're definitely going to want to disconnect the battery. You can take the belt off and to gain access, get anything that's in your way out of the way. There'll be bolts holding the alternator to the engine block and then you have to disconnect the cables as well. Number two, ignition coils. Now the coils are located right here and there'll be some on the back side because this is a V6 model. If you have the four cylinder model, there should just be a strip in the middle. Now the coil is actually attached to the spark plug. That's how you get your spark. And if one of these coils fails, then you're gonna end up with a misfire. So the engine will be shaking. You'll have a check engine light. Most likely it'll be a flashing check engine light with a P0300 through P0306. To replace the coil, you're gonna disconnect the connector and then take the nut off, slide the coil out and slide the new coil in. Now, whenever you're replacing coils, it's always a good idea to replace the plugs as well. Number three, the crankshaft position sensor. The sensor's located right here underneath this plate. Now, this happens to be the V6 model. Uh, it may be different on a four-cylinder engine. Some of the symptoms you may notice if the sensor is bad, you might end up with a check engine light, but you may also have a stalling condition or a no-start condition. With the no-start condition, the vehicle will crank, but it won't start. <laughs> to replace the sensor, you're gonna take these bolts out, take this cover out of the way, disconnect the connector, and then there should be a bolt holding on that sensor. Take that bolt out, put the new sensor in, and after you're all done, you are gonna have to do a relearn procedure, which you can do with a scan tool. Number four, the catalytic converters. Because this is the V6, you have one located right here in front of that O2 sensor, and you have one in the front as well. So when you have a bad catalytic converter, most likely the first thing you're gonna notice is a check engine light with a P0420 or P0430. And that's basically the computer monitoring what the converter is doing. And if it's not performing its job properly, then you're gonna get that code. One of the other symptoms you may notice is poor acceleration. You may be able to accelerate slowly and that's fine, but if you try to do a heavy acceleration, you're not gonna be able to move very quickly. Now when you get that code, there is a couple things you wanna check. You wanna make sure you don't have any exhaust leaks and on the intake side, you wanna make sure there's no intake leaks. Um, if everything else checks out, chances are you need a converter and you're gonna replace it. There's some nuts down below here you have to take off and there's some nuts up top. Take those off and replace the gaskets as well. Now one way you can prevent this is make sure you do routine tune-ups. Um, replace the spark plugs. If you don't change the spark plugs regularly or if you have a bad coil and raw fuel is going into the converter, it's gonna heat up and cause it to plug up and then you're gonna have to replace it. Number five, the blower motor. The blower motor is located underneath the glove box on the passenger side. There is a cover over it. You'd have to remove that cover to access it. Now the blower motor is gonna come on when you turn your HVAC on, when you turn your heating and air conditioning on. And when you increase the speed, that is what is pushing the air through the system. Now you may notice if the blower motor itself is making a loud noise, that could be an indication that it's gonna need to be replaced soon, or if it's not working at all. Maybe turn the heat on or AC and nothing's coming out of 
any of the vents. To replace the blower motor, you're gonna need to take this panel off. There should be some screws that hold the blower motor in and also an electrical connector. Disconnect that, swap the new one in, you should be good to go. So those are the top five problems that we found on this Honda Accord. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.